Hey, it's me, Jack Keck here, and I'm going to tell you how to use Special K to make a texture mod for Saints Row the Third Remastered. This requires either already knowing how to install the texture mod using Special K, or having watched the previous video and figuring out there, because this directly relies on setting up Special K with Saints Row the Third Remastered. Let's get right into it. So now you gotta boot up the game and press Control Shift Backspace. Go to Texture Management. And where it says maximum cache size, scroll that all the way up. So now we can really start the process. So unless you want to retexture something like the title screen, we're going to have to actually go in game and find what we want to retexture. Let me load a save real quick. So once you're loaded in game, find what you want to retexture. So let's see this, let's see this sign right here, oh god my, yeah right there that says danger K shells. So in order to find that texture, go to render mod tools. Now this might get a little wonky, right, this might not show up because of the resolution and stuff so you're gonna have to, you might have to play around with that but, or it might do that, hold on. So here's the meat and potatoes of what you're going to need. This little menu right here. This will have all the textures. And if you notice, let's see. So first of all, you cycle through these textures by using the bracket button. I'll show, I'll try to edit in an example of what that looks like. It's not the parentheses, it's a bracket. So as you can see right here, the carpet is flashing and the texture of the carpet is up on screen. So again, let's cycle through. Uh, uh. Uh, so any texture you select will be in game flashing this is how you're gonna find the texture you want to retexture so in fact you know what since we already have it let's just let's just go with this let's just go with the carpet plus it'll be much more obvious so I usually dump texture to disk and generate mip maps just in case so this is this is actually dumped the textures so now we're gonna go and find the textures so now go back to where you would usually install a texture mod and so this is Special K Profiles, Saints Row the Third Remastered and your textures will either be in SK Res, Dump, Textures, Saints Row the Third.exe and Compressed so it'll have this compressed thing and before you edit a texture with Compressed copy and paste it out of the folder, rename it and then edit it. I'm not gonna do that because it is probably here. So go back to SK Res, inject the textures, mip map catch, same to the third.exe, and the texture I want is right here. So I don't have to do that. But some some textures I was replacing I needed to do that with. So I But some textures I was replacing didn't show up here. If it does show up here, then use the one here. So we're going to open this. There we go. That's the carpet. And I'll replace it with... You know what? You. There we go. So keep... So this is just the editing right here. You're going to need paint.net or something that can... It's just essentially the same. But paint.net is free, so there's no excuse. Now go to save as, uh, I guess wherever you want, right, save as, and then go by defaults, and check generate mip maps. Okay, now, all you have to do is go to where you saved your file, so I actually didn't keep notes, so I'm going to quickly copy, paste, right, and then go here, so the edited file is here. And now just simply put it where you would normally install your mods, which would be SK Res Inject Textures. If you watched the last video, you should know this. So put it right here. And now we're going to boot up in game and see our beautiful masterpiece. So uh, here, <laughs> here we go. Our beautiful masterpiece is in game. So now my, look at this. My apartment is beautiful now. It's amazing. But uh, yeah, I hope you're... 
I hope you're as happy as me when you get your mod working. And this is basically it. So just to go over it again, you're going to want to open the special K menu. You're going to want to go to texture management. Set the cache to maximum, which is like 8,000 or something. And then go to render mod tools. The menu on the right. Click on a texture and then scroll through them with the brackets. And in game, it'll be flashing. And the one that you want, once that's flashing, generate mint maps and dump the texture. Find it in, yeah, find it in the texture folder, which I just showed you. And bada bing, bada boom, edit it, put it where it's supposed to be, and you'll you'll get a masterpiece just like me. And just to let you know, models and objects in this game do have multiple textures for one. So there will be the literal texture for the design, and then there will be the texture for the lighting and stuff. This is to make sure the developers don't have to make super high polygon models or do super graphical intensive lighting, right? Many video games do this, and it's usually referred to as normal maps, so just letting you know. So, make sure you find the right texture and you'll be able to have such a masterpiece. This has been how to edit textures in Saints Row the Third Remastered using Special K. I'm Jack Keck. Peace out. Okay, so I wanted to point out that I do have my own mods for Saints Row the Third Remastered, which are texture mods using the same exact method. And while I'm not really ashamed of plugging myself, I want to use this as a learning opportunity real quick to show you that you don't just have to change something. You can outright delete part of a model essentially using retextures exclusively. So if your retexture, if okay, if part of a texture is transparent, then that will not actually show up on the model. Now, in order to make it work perfectly, like I said earlier about the whole multiple texture things and lighting, you're gonna have to look through multiple textures. But as you can see, so if you download my mod and stuff. You will see, maybe for research, you that there are the part of the texture is transparent. So I just wanted to point that out, since we can't actually at this time edit models for the remaster. So this might be helpful to make something a little bit more unique than uh, whatever the whatever that carpet is, the Volition Nina logo. Anyways, Jack, this is Jack Keck. Peace out.